Mathematics in the modern world for your final exam. So, in this video, it will be discuss your final exam. So, as what I have done from your midterm exam, we divided again your final exam into two tasks. We have the first one, subscribe and like the video. Then after that one, you are going to comment your name, course, and year. Your class schedule, including the time, hour, and the room. For example, Juan de la Cruz, Bachelor of Secondary Education, Mathematics Major 1. 7.30 to 9. Tuesday, Thursday, room 407. Please refer on your enrollment form about your uh, schedule. Your instructors might not be in your enrollment form, but please put in mind that through commenting and your subscription on the video, your instructor can track you. Then, continue watching the video for task 2. By doing task 1, your instructor can easily determine your participation for finals. So, we have here the task 2. You're going to answer what is being asked using the following matrix or instructions given. Letter A, answer the given problem using Hamiltonian circuit. So Hamiltonian circuit is one topic in module 7. So you may refer to module 7 for Hamiltonian circuit. So this is the data. The distance from Manila to Cebu, Manila to CDO, Manila to Davao, Manila to Palawan, Manila to Uzamis, and Manila to Baguio City. So the distance from Manila to Cebu is 355, Manila to CDO is 485, Manila to Davao is 589, Manila to Palawan is 358, Manila to Uzamis is 477 and Manila to Baguio City is 245. Same as true, the given figures down below are all the distances from one place to another place in terms of kilometers. Okay, so using the table, you are going to do this task too. So make or draw a graph along with the weights of the edges. So what you are going to do is you are going to draw. Please use a straight edge for it to look presentable. And use different colors in drawing your lines. So one line is equal to one color. And do not forget to write the weights of the edges. Okay, and then we have the next one that you are going to do. For letter C under task 2. Using Hamiltonian circuit, find two shortest route or the fastest way and draw them together with their total distance. So an example will be shown later and that would be your basis. You are going to find the two shortest route or the two fastest way on how you are going to visit all the places. Then draw them together with their total distance. Next one for the task 2 is the letter D. Put your output in a long band paper with 1 inch margin in all sides. So put your output in a long band paper with 1 inch margin in all sides. So long band paper. So we have here the task 2, letter E. In order for you to get high score, make your work presentable by using different colors and design for the edges. And of course, you use straight edges for it to become beautiful. Next one. So your band paper will look like this. Then the band paper 
will be divided into two. Do not cut, just put a line. And then, down below, for the below part, you are going to divide that again into two. So, the, your bond paper will look like this. So, this part, the bigger part here will be, this is where you are going to draw or make your graph along with the weights of the edges. So, for example, this one. So, the distance from Chicago to Philadelphia, Chicago to New York, New York to Atlanta, those kind of things. We have, they were connected to each other and then they have put the distance in kilometers in their line also so you what you are going to do looks like this next this one and this part this is where you are going to uh, draw the two fastest or shortest route and label their distance so using hamiltonian circuit you're going to draw the fastest or shortest route and label their distance also so this is the first drawing and then this is the second drawing and last one for this part and then this part write your solution here proving that the two were the shortest route so example of this is this one so in this figure 5,197 and then 5,154 are the two shortest route in visiting all the places of this given figure. Okay, so next one. Here is the rubric for checking. So this will be your guide in making your rubrics and of course for you to get a high score. So it was divided into three parts and a total of 30 points. So the first one is what we call as the completeness. Okay, for the completeness, you can get 10 points if the edges are complete and the edges are connected to the proper edge using a line. The distance between two edges were labeled properly. Okay, so the, as, the same as what I have shown you, it should be labeled properly. For number 8, or for 8 points, the edges are complete and some edges were not connected using a line. Some distance between two edges were not labeled properly. So before uh, doing the computation, make sure that you have connected all the edges on their respective places. Okay, then some distance between two edges were not labeled properly and of course you should have labeled everything for you to get 10 points. Now you will get 5 points if the edges are not complete and the edges were not connected properly. Distances between two edges were not labeled properly also. So again, connecting and labeling is very important for the completeness. You will get zero points if you are not going to pass any output. The second part of the rubrics, this is where the artistry of the students will come in. Okay, so you are going to get 10 points by showing your artistry. The output is clean and free of erasures. The line used were straight and the edges were drawn in a clean circle so by just defin defining it it says there that the lines were straight so it should be straight lines and then the edges were drawn in a clean circle so be careful in drawing a circle and then if you have done these two you can get 10 points for the artistry next is the points for eight points so the output is clean and few erasures were visible. Some of the lines were not straight and some of the edges were not drawn in a clean circle. So that would be for the 8 points. Then 5 points, the output is messy with many visible erasures. The lines were not drawn properly including the edges. That is for the 5 points. And of course, 0 points again if you did not do the output next one the last part of the rubric is the 
correctness. Okay, so in order for us to check your output, you can get 10 points if all the two answers are correct and the solutions are shown in a systematic way. So the examples were given, all you have to do is add them together and show that it is really the shortest way for you to get 10 points. So 10 points, all the answers are correct and the solutions are shown in a systematic way. However, you will get 8 points if all the two answers are correct but the solutions are not presented in a systematic way. Even if your answers are correct, if your way of presenting the answer or the presenting the solution is not in a systematic way, then you will still get 8 points for the rubric of correctness. Then, you will get 5 points. One of the two answers are correct and the solutions are not presented in a systematic way. So you have to be very careful for you to get 10 points for the correctness. Again, 0 if you did not pass any output. We have here the deductions. 1 point per day of delay. So you will be deducted 1 point from the 30 points in every day, uh, one day that you will be delayed. One point if no folder. So one folder in all activity from one folder only for all modules. Okay, so again, it will be in this uh, way. Module 1, module 2, module 3, module 4, midterm exam, module 5, module 6, Module 7, Final Exam. That's what you are going to pass to your instructor. Then we have here the submis submission. Submit your output at room 206. Basing on the date of submission that will be announced by the school Facebook page. So... Go and search for the Facebook page of the school so you will always be updated. So th that's when you are going to submit your output. So again, remember, late is late. So please pass your output on time. Please do pass your output on time. And then regarding your instructor, that will be... Uh, basing on the comments and subscription that you will be doing in this video.